All right, so I've got this motor, the stuff taken off. I want to get taken off. This bracket came off. I did have to grind into the head of this last bolt to relief it. So sometimes if you grind the head of the bolt like about halfway, the clamping force that it's doing is no longer doing anything and it'll just come off that way. So that's why I finally got the final bolt out of this thing. It's like every single bolt I had to take out, I had to do a little bit different method to get it out. So where I'm at now is I wanna take this big pulley loose before I take the heads and all that stuff off. That way it kind of gives it a little bit, something a little bit more to, you know, hold it from turning. So I've got a 30 millimeter socket with a one inch drive. This is what I usually use for these. A lot of times you can do it without even locking the pulley. It'll break it loose, but you need to have a serious, um, machine here to work with it. I got this one from Harbor Freight several years ago. Uh, it was called an earthquake or something like that. Um, the sticker, the sticker is missing at this point. All right, but I mean this thing, it's got a one inch drive. It's got some serious beef to it. And it will take these nuts off without too much problems. If you can get the drive to go in there. All right, there we go. All right, so I may have to lock it, it's turning. Uh, I don't have the special locking tool, but I do have some pieces of metal that I can put in here just to keep this dumb thing from turning long. I think what I'm going to have to do is maybe put a little bit of oil in this, let the compressor... Nope, there it goes. See? So now it's loose. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not going to take it all the way off because I am going to wash it, but you don't want to, you know, let this stuff, like, get to the point where you're, cra you're cracking the case okay and you still haven't taken this bolt off you don't want to try to do this with the tr with the crank out of the motor you want to do it like now while things are semi put together at least have the bolt so that it's finger tight so that when it's time to take the crank out it's just a you know a simple thing of unscrewing this bolt with your hands and this pulley will just come right off. So that's another tip. So what I'm gonna do now is get the engine wash, put it all over this thing. I usually use like a wire brush, wire brush it in real good, let it sit, and then I'm gonna be power washing it back off. So I will bring you back for that. I'm sure that'll be very satisfying. 